Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to my Dissidia Opera Omnia video series. In this video, we're going to be checking out the features of the game's story mode, another basic feature, but something you should really know if you're planning on picking the game up. Thanks again to Square Enix for sponsoring this video and all the videos that are a part of this series. Check the playlist in the description for all the other Dissidia Opera Omnia content we're putting out on the channel. With that out of the way, let's get started. Story is one of the primary features of the game. It takes place in a realm parallel to the one in Dissidia NT, where the heroes are supposed to be resting between their battles. However, rifts called torsions begin opening up and flooding the realm with dangerous monsters. The task is given to Mog to gather together warriors gifted with the light to save this realm and all of the connected realms. Shortly after starting the game, you'll be thrown into Chapter 1, which will act as a tutorial zone as well as an introduction to the story itself. Here, you'll learn about the basics of combat and upgrading your characters. You'll even get a sweet 5-star draw for one of your characters. The first thing you'll notice about the story mode is that you're dropped on a grid with a variety of nodes. This isn't the only place that does this, the World of Illusions does it as well, but it's important that you know what each of these nodes actually does. The first node that you'll notice are speech bubbles, which display cutscenes that advance the story. Luckily, if you miss something or you just wanted to watch a cutscene again, you could just click these on the grid and rewatch them as many times as you want. Next up are battle nodes. There are two kinds of these nodes, so we'll cover each one. There's only a minor difference between the two. The first battle node will just look like a knight's helmet. These will allow you to battle enemies, earn gems, items, and experience points for your party. There are even special conditions you can meet for these battles that give you bonus rewards, such as achieving a certain score or bringing a certain character to that fight. The second type of battle node will actually look like a gold knight with two swords behind the helmet. These contain boss enemies, which usually require more advanced strategies to take down, especially when taking them on on hard mode. Another node to keep a special eye out for are speech bubbles that have character portraits in them. These are side quests that allow you to recruit new party members once you complete their little side quest story. Next up are gate nodes. These lock a portion of the map away until you complete specific objectives elsewhere. This can be unlocking or even leveling certain characters, as well as killing a specific type of enemy the requisite number of times. Completing these objectives is vital to getting through the story, so make it a priority to open these gates immediately. And finally, you'll see torsions occasionally on the map. You can't actually interact with these, just consider these indicators of upcoming boss fights or important story cutscenes. Closing all the torsions on a story map will end that chapter and send you to the next one. With Opera Omnia's global launch, the game currently has five chapters, which can be tackled on both the normal and hard difficulties. The game will be updated with more chapters in the future as well. I believe the Japanese version of the game is actually at 11 chapters. When doing these chapters, you're going to unlock even more characters, and you're going to have plenty of opportunities to earn more gems and materials. There are also story aspects to the optional events in the game and the World of Illusion. This usually has cutscenes to accompany the feature or introduce the new character to the roster and explain their motivations. And with that, that's a wrap for the video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and check out the playlist in the description of the video or here at the end card in order to find the other Opera Omnia videos we're producing on the channel. But anyway, thank you again. I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, take care.